Wait, can you tell me a bit about your characters? Ladies first. Thank you very much. Uh, Danny is very fierce, very aggressive. She's quite boyish. Uh, she's like the the only girl in a five man crew. Um, and they kind of allude to that a lot. Uh, she, she tries to fit in with the guys, um, but she, she does have some issues with her femininity. Um, it's not that she doesn't want to be feminine, but it's a bit more that she doesn't feel like she'll be taken seriously within the group if mm -hmm. she is. Um, and she kind of goes on this journey of growing up a bit and coming of age and realizing that she can be whoever she wants to be. It's kind of like that moment in Greece, you know, when Sandy kind of transforms yeah. at the end. Yeah, it's been really fun like to do. And um, Franz? So I play Sean, and he's this, uh, he's like an, he's an average guy. He's, he's cool, he's kind of charismatic, just like <laughs> myself. No, um, no, yeah, he's a cool dude. He's, um, he's kind of very, very level-headed. Um, he, he, he's like a natural leader, a natural leader. He was a fun character to play. Okay, so what initially attracted you both to, to the project? Why did you want to be involved? I just loved the fact that you know, the film is just so fun. Like, it's just a feel-good movie. And um, and I think those those are quite rare to come by, especially in the UK. And I just thought, yeah, this is going to be dope. Uh, for me, it was that they, uh, they opened the casting process up to open auditions. They did a nationwide search. Um, and if it weren't for that, then I wouldn't be involved in the project. Uh, I went to the Manchester open auditions and then got called back and then eventually got the part. Um, so that was brilliant for me, and then the uh, the script when I read it, I was I was laughing out loud. Um, I found it very funny, and I think the film is as well. Cool. I know we just touched on this, but this mm -hmm. is your debut feature. Yes. Was acting something you always wanted to do? Yes, yeah, it was. It was. I've always had a love of it. Um, I've done youth theatres like National Youth Theatre and all of that sort of stuff, um, but I had an opportunity to go behind the camera mm -hmm. before I had an opportunity to go in front. So I, I did that first um, and tried to learn as much about the industry as I possibly could, um, always looking out for opportunities to do what I wanted to do. And uh, then Legacy came up and as I said, it was amazing that they opened it up and that's why I'm here today with you guys. So you must have been thrilled to be given the opportunity mm. because sometimes you just need somebody to take that chance on you to kickstart your career. So Noel and Jason, I guess, you're got a lot to thank them for I guess yeah the yeah and Mark and Davey the directors yeah, as well they were uh, yeah I, I have thanked them many times yeah. for for taking a chance on me uh, I don't know if it's it's getting annoying now <laughs> <laughs> but I just want them to know how grateful I am because if they if they hadn't done it if they decided just to go for closed castings then as I said I, I wouldn't be here do you know why they decided to do it that way they were just looking for I think they were looking new. for yeah something yeah. new some fresh talent maybe seeing what they could <coughs> find in the UK and thankfully they, I spoke they to chose Noel about me. it and he said like that there was like there were girls up for the role like had like established mm. film careers and stuff and they kind of met you and were like yeah she's perfect for the role kind of thing so yeah she's great for me yeah it's really cool, <laughs> it's really cool. yeah so, of course, your old co-star, John Boyega, has gone mm. on to be in a little-known franchise called Star Wars. I know, right? Just that small film. <laughs> Just that little film. Star, what? Um, Star Wars. Star Wars. <laughs> it must be so encouraging for young British actors that big studios are paying attention and giving people opportunities like this. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I mean, like, at the moment, there's a lot of UK actors who are kind of doing very well stateside. I mean, you've got John doing... Doing um doing Star Wars, I mean Dev Patel is like blowing up, like been blowing up. He's been blowing up, like doing Chappie and stuff. I Jack I feel like Jack O'Connell. Jack O'Connell. He's one. Of, he's actually one of my favorite actors. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait to work with him. One day I will definitely. Mm -hmm. But um but yeah, it's crazy. Like I'm about to be um shooting this TV show DC Legends of Tomorrow. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a good time. It's a good time for UK actors, especially stateside. Everything's kind of popping off and it's super encouraging just seeing all your peers kind of doing well. Yeah. How much do you still owe to Attack the Block and do you still keep in touch with all the guys? Do you know what? Um, I still keep in touch with, with a few of the guys from Attack the Block now and then. I mean, we're all, all super busy doing our own stuff as we really touched upon John's doing Star Wars, I'm doing this and that and whatever. But, um, but yeah, I mean, that was a lot of fun. That was a very fun shoot mm -hmm. and... Um, yeah, it was cool. Good memories. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So Davy and Mark are, of course, the co-directors of the project. What were they like to collaborate with? What was it like having two directors on set? 
Uh, Davy and Mark work very well together mm. because they kind of complement each other. Mostly, Mark is very energetic um, and Davy's quite contemplative, but they do also cross over into each other's territories as well. So they definitely complement complemented each other with that and took on different aspects of the mm. film as well. Um, so. I th I thought it was great, but obviously I don't have experience of anything else. <laughs> no, it was great. They were they were they was they were so good to work with. You know, they um they direct very well. They take on board your opinions, which mm. as an actor, it, I feel is very important that you kind of can be like, you know what, mm. I'm not really feeling that direction. Can yeah. we try it like this? And they're very open to suggestions and and letting you kind of improvise a little bit and just seeing how how things kind of work out organically, which was mm. really cool. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So both Davy and Mark were actors beforehand, and they've made the transition to directing. Do you guys think you might ever fancy being directors, producers? Definitely, at some point in the future, most definitely. For the moment, I'm just kind of focusing on 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 my acting career at present. But I mean, I think that's definitely a way forward, especially with the whole. UK industry as it is now, as a young black actor especially, I feel it's very important that people kind of start writing and start producing and get out some really good mm. good roles for young young actors because at the moment it's a little bit stereotyped. It's getting better, but it's, yeah, I definitely feel that writing and producing is the way forward. Mm, it's good to have more strings to mm -hmm. your bow, isn't it? Um, I, again, yeah, I think it might be something I'm interested in in the future, but I'm just looking to start my acting career at the moment and very focused on that. What were you doing when you were behind the camera? Um, in the camera department mostly, oh, nice. um, but also did some um, production. Cool. Yeah. What's the best party you've ever been to? <laughs> Not Here we go. Um, <laughs> my friend Omari's 21st, that was a lot of fun. And he's a dancer um, and there was a lot of like people battling. There was like people dancing in like the middle of circles, and it was it was off the chain. Was it a house party? Yeah, yeah. It was dope. It was dope. Cool. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, I have nothing to compete with. The legacy rap so. party. That was off. That was. <laughs> it, 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 it was pretty good. Yeah. It was pretty good. I got yeah, kicked but... out. No way. I got kicked out of the rap party. What believe did you that. Do? I wasn't going to mention that. No, let's mention it. Let's do it. <laughs> I swung. I was swinging. So I decided that it's only right. Like the part, like the film is about partying. How can we have a rap party and not like really party? Like let's kind of close it off properly. <laughs> anyway, I got real drunk. I remember swinging from the chandeliers, literally, and the <laughs> bouncer was like, "You're gonna do that. Get out." And I was oh just like, gosh. "Oh, what?" But. Um, so if you were hosting a party, who would be on your dream guest list? No Clark, obviously. Naturally. <laughs> Cara Delevingne. Mm -hmm. She seems like she could party hard. <laughs> um, Charlie She looks like he'd be a fun person to party with. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, I don't know. There's so many people. Yeah. I just invite all my friends and stuff. Me? Any special guests that you'd invite? Oh, I'm I'm probably gonna sound really boring, but I'd just like to invite people that I'd like to get to know. Yeah. So like actresses that I admire and uh, obviously friends awesome. and uh, the people from Legacy, all my friends, all of that sort of stuff. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> um what's your number one party song? What songs get you on the dance floor? Um Probably something Justin Timberlake. <laughs> yeah. At the moment, I do like the OT Genesis Coco. If I hear that, I'm turning up. Can you I know it? that song. I I'm in love with the Coco. <laughs> I got I it for the low. I actually know that one. <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> something else. Yeah, if I hear that, it's going off. <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay, Franz, you've got 100 Streets up next with Idris Elba. Mm -hmm. uh, what's it all about and how do you fit into the story? So, 100 Streets, it's, um, it's like, it's a story about, like, just life in London and, and everyone kind of connecting and all the characters um, have their own separate storylines, but all touch upon each other and intertwine. And, um, and I play the character of Kingsley, who is this young um, drug dealer on the estate who's trying to leave that whole kind of life behind 
and is trying to kind of get his life on track and he meets this um, older actor who kind of puts him onto the right path but obviously leaving that whole kind of um, gang sort of life isn't as easy as mm. as it kind of seems mm. so it's all the obstacles he has to kind of deal with and Cool. Yeah. So Idris is in, in it, or is he like? No, Idris is in it as well. He plays a um uh, a retired England rugby captain whose kind of life and and marriage is kind of kind of spiraling out of control, and it's just how how he kind of does it. That it's almost like a sort of um. It reminds me a lot of a a kind of London sort of crash. If you remember the mm -hmm. film Crash, it's sort of got that kind of vibe to it. That sounds cool. So you've yeah. already started, fil you filmed we've, that? We've, you've, yeah. We've, when did you film that? We filmed that last year. Oh, cool. Yeah, we filmed that last year. Oh, I look forward to seeing that. Yeah. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey You Guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey! 